get out of here. <laughs> I don't want you on my island. And you're just running around while I'm trying to film my video. Leave. Hey everyone, it's Kato. In today's video, I thought I would try something a little bit different. You know, honestly, I'm feeling a little... Not discouraged, but I'm having I'm having some trouble, okay? So we're gonna do a challenge to give me a little motivation. I would say I'm lacking motivation for this island, right? So I need something to put me back in gear. I need to finish this island by October. We are on my spooky pastel Halloween island. It's coming along, but I really, I really need to get on it. Okay, so we're getting closer. I have this neighborhood over here that we've been working on, but there is this big empty space on the back of the island where you can see Flora still galloping around. I guess she's happy with the empty space, but don't worry, Flora. We're going to get rid of it. You will no longer be happy. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Here's what we got going on. I figured... I'm going to give myself five minutes. I just want five dedicated minutes to working on terraforming. And I'm going to see how much I can get accomplished in five minutes. After that five minutes, I'm going to decide if five minutes was long enough, if I feel like that was enough time. But I'm going to really try my hardest to get as much done as possible in that five minutes. And here's what I'm thinking. I want to have my shopping district back here. Those are the only things I have left to place. And I'm thinking I want to have some kind of cliffside right here with nooks on top. And then another cliff and then maybe Abel's kind of like tucked into the cliff. That's what I'm thinking. Who knows what it's going to turn out to be. But there needs to be some kind of terraforming. I want to get these shops out of the way. Because then once I get those in their proper locations... That's the last thing I have to do as far as terraforming and placement goes. So that's the plan for today. Let's go ahead and open up the island designer here. We're going to get started and see how this goes. I'm really, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Okay, let me grab a timer here before we get started. I will just put a timer on my phone, maybe? Is that a good idea? Okay, timer's ready to go in three, two, one. Timer started. All right, this is gonna go by fast. So I'm kind of feeling like five minutes is not gonna be nearly enough time just because putting each individual block like this takes so long. How do you all feel about this? What do we feel like would be the better way to terraform. Like, do you think we should be able to do multiple cliffs at one time? I don't know. I don't know what the solution is for this. I do think they kind of need to streamline it. I know a lot of people really like the way that it's set up in Happy Home Paradise. I mean, you don't terraform there, but they like the way that you design over there. And I am not one of those people. I do not prefer it. I, I don't know if it's just because this is my comfort and this is what I started with or what it is about it, but I do not like it. It's just hard for me to see what I'm doing. I also really struggle with the controls over there because I always forget what I'm doing. But I don't know. It's not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite. Okay, we shouldn't be making mistakes when we only have five minutes. Also, my phone just went to sleep, so um, <laughs> I don't know when the timer's going to go off. Five minutes is just not a lot. Okay, Cliff over here. I'm trying to think if there are any other big areas that I want to do. I already have a spooky forest. I have a pumpkin patch. We've got our trick-or-treating areas. Oh, you know what we forgot? I wanted to do like a traveling carnival. Maybe I can find a way to tuck that in between this shopping district and the baseball field that I have. 
because I don't want to get rid of the baseball field. I just really like it. I do want to add some decorations to it that I don't have yet. That could be cute, like the pastel, but I want it to look definitely like it's a traveling carnival and not so much a carnival that's there all the time, if that makes sense. See, this is taking forever. But we're filling space, and that's a plus. I can't imagine going back to the old Animal Crossing games and not being able to terraform. Like, this was just such a game changer. Being able to decorate outside, being able to change the landscaping. Like, how did we ever not do this? Just decorating inside? Are you joking? I mean, you could do the Publix Works projects, but that's just not the same. It's just not the same. And I know a lot of people... Uh, I think a lot of people really prefer New Leaf to New Horizons, which shocks me. Anytime I hear that, I'm shocked. Anytime I hear that, I just immediately assume, which is probably not a good thing, that that person doesn't like designing as much as they do the other things that you can do in Animal Crossing. Which is honestly the best thing about Animal Crossing. If they could marry the two, like have all of the designing stuff and even expand on the designing stuff, but also expand on the interactions that you have with villagers Expand on the relationships that you build with the NPCs and really make those meaningful. I feel like they would have it. Like this next game that they're going to come out with, because they 100% are going to come out with another game. When they come out with it, it needs to have all those things. They need to expand on both aspects to really cater to everyone. And it would just be perfection. Because you could do whatever you wanted. If you wanted to build relationships, you could do that. If you wanted to decorate, you could do that. That would be so good. And then I would hope that if they, if they have a game like that, I would hope they would continue to support that game for longer than they did this one. That's what I think will happen, honestly. I think the next game... Oh no, that was five minutes? Are you kidding? <laughs> That's all I did in five minutes? <sighs> oh no. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set my timer for another five minutes. And I'm gonna see if I can at least have an idea of where these places are going to go. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. This time I'm going to speed it all up. I'm not going to be talking through it. I'm just going to do like a little sped up version of the next five minutes. Um, maybe with me talking after I've done it. I don't know. We'll see. And we'll see what I've done in the next five minutes. All right, let's do it. Alright, so that is another 
five minutes down, and this is all I have to show for it. Ten minutes. I mean, honestly, I'm not too disappointed because I've got... So up here, I marked out a spot where I want to put an incline. I'm going to put nooks up there. I don't know if that's the exact size, but I figured it was close enough. If I need to extend the cliff to the right, I have the room to do that. And then I started... I want to put Able Sisters right here. And so I needed to modify this cliff a little bit to kind of scoot it up. And then I'm going to extend it out this way as well. But I feel like that's a good start. And it forced me to start to fill in this back section. Which actually doesn't leave me with too much left to do in terms of terraforming. Unless I want to do some more waterscaping. Which potentially I would want to do on this left side because there's really nothing over here. I feel like I don't have to. But before I end this video, I will show y'all an update. If you're not coming to the streams, if you haven't seen an update of what this island looks like, let's go ahead and do a quick run through. I will say, if you're going to do a terraforming challenge, you might want to give yourself like 15 minutes because <laughs> 5 and 10 was not very much. So over here, we have this pastel pumpkin patch. I really love how this turned out. The neighborhood over here, like I said earlier. And then heading this way it takes you right to the entrance. Which I'm glad that we changed this where you can access it from both sides. It gives it more of a cohesive feel because you can run through the whole thing. So here's my entrance. Love the entrance, it's my favorite part. This and the spooky forest are definitely my two favorites. Heading over this way, there is a neighborhood. So this one just has a little farm and there is a house up here. There's definitely a lot of finishing touches that need to happen here because I just kind of start areas and then I don't finish them. That's, that's a bad habit. Um, but another house right here, which is cute with the little garden in front of it. Then we've got a meadow kind of leading back to this peach orchard back here. And then if you go up this way, oh, don't do that. <laughs> if you go up this way, there is a little picnic spot right here with the peaches. And behind all of that is where the pastel spooky forest is. This is one of my favorites. It has this water path, which is just so good. All of these codes are over on my Pinterest. If you're looking for any of them, they are amazing. Um, but I love this area so, so much. Uh, we, won't, we won't talk about what's going on right here because, you know, things happen. Things happen, <laughs> but this is the spooky forest here. And then coming down this way, we do have a neighborhood behind resident services which is not fully decorated, especially this side because Nooks is in the way. And then we have the overgrown baseball field back here. But that is all I have going on in this island. I mean, it's a lot, but it's also nowhere close at the same time. I don't know how that's possible, but that's where we are. So five minutes gets you like one cliff section, 10 minutes, get you another cliff section, and the ability to plan out where you're going to put buildings. But that is my terraforming challenge. That's my video for today with a little update of my island and where it stands currently. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate if you'd like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!